shots. It is 
chocolate chip bags to the classic Sun Chips blue plastic. And of course, baked lays. Can't have those. Uh, a favorite here at this year, the dress is a rainbow cascade of these little landfill lovelies. And underneath, we have a skirt made out of shopping bags. And what carnival outfit is. Keep watching. <laughs> And what carnival outfit it is complete without a headpiece made out of vegetable steamer picked from the metals pile? Beautiful!
trash from the school cafeteria. The ruffles are made from uh, made of plastic bags and food can labels. If you look closely, some of your favorite foods are in there. The dollar bill wrappers were also used to bundle all the wrinkled dollar bills you give us. We have also used a couple of food stains, yes, cafeteria food t-shirts to make the apron ties. The hat is a version of used in the professional kitchen, is made from parchment paper, and then used cardboard fruit dividers and adorned with recycled plastic. That's Madison. The silver duct tape accepting the black trash bags goes with the brass tote and stop and shop shopping bags, which are much like a girdle. Much of this is tied together with red caution tape, and hidden under some are the cuddle covers of some scientific magazines. Around the bottom of the skirt are inside out fake plays bags. The petticoat underneath is merely black trash bags and duct tape. The gloves are of a very sticky plastic wrap, and the headpiece is a flower made up of stop and shop shopping bags and yarn, as well as red netting, which came from bags holding the oranges. Olivia Wartheimer. This next model is Jane Rubin. It is designed by Rosanna, by Kelsey Cassis, and Riley Sampson, with help from their model. Their inspiration came from nowhere, making this dress an original. The dress is made from loose paper held together with staples, tape, glue, and velcro. The belt is made from old jeans with an embellished made of loose paper. The purse is made from an old pair of shorts with a yellow pearl and a plastic mask. Yeah. 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 Okay, next up we got Emily. Uh, this dress is designed and modeled by Emily. Uh, the dress is constructed of over 100 red solo cups held together by staples and blue and duct tape. ties hold uh, the top together. The overlapping of the cup gives the skirt a ruffle-like texture. And that is Emma Lee. <laughs> next we have Morgan Shaw. She is modeling this next piece. And it was designed by Angel Santos. This colorful eye-catching design was created, or designed and created by Angel Santos and worn by Morgan Shaw. I said that. The inspiration for this design is a passion and love for fashion as well as the environment. These are two pieces uh, to this combo. A vest, which is composed of red, blue, yellow, and leopard print duct tape. Caution tape, a potato chip bag, and a slightly newspaper. The skirt is made from the same materials, but also features bottle cap buttons. The designer, Angel, wanted to catch the eyes of young teenagers with an eye-popping design. That's more than shocking. <laughs> Headband surrounded by balloons. The top of the dress has elegant uh, bottle caps that are covered by metallic gum wrappers. On the bottom is a colorful skirt with color coded pictures. The dress is perfect at crazy competitions, original competitions, and even fashion shows, and that is Lisa Portier. Here's another elegant and sophisticated design made and modeled by Marina Copia. The skirt is made of yeah, black trash bags. It was then topped with a gathered layer of trash bags uh, to the flower. To the flower that you see on the skirt is made of trash uh, made of trash bags and then taped below the to make a flower shape. The top is a strapless shirt made of white trash bags, and in the front you can see that it's ruffled so it doesn't make it translucent. The slanted duct tape necklace you can see on her zebra pattern like the waist lines on the skirt uh, is. It is tied to the back of the shirt so that it can rest on the shoulder. The bracelets on Ashley's arms are discarded rolls of duct tape. The headband is made out of strips of, black, of white trash bags and then colored with a permanent marker to emphasize the black and white theme going into the outfit. That's Marina Cortez. Next, we have Willow. How do you put this? Joanne Meyer. Um, yeah, Willow! In a dress designed by Amelia Rubinsky. Trash bags, a roll of red duct tape, and a roll of caution tape. 
The headpiece is made from a magazine cover and duct tape, caution tape, and a headband. The supplies from, are from an abandoned warehouse in Hadley. Uh, and that is, uh, below Joe Hank Meyer. Okay, at this time we would like to thank all the contestants for participating, and it is uh, now, so we'd like to call them all out with their uh, designers. So, So we're just going to go with this. This is the judges' votes. 
First prize, $200 donated by Do So Trucking goes to Hadley Demarius and Emily. Second prize, $150 donated by Yankee Candle Company goes to Lindsey Blake. $100 donated by Stephen Barrett goes to Riley Sampson, Jaina Rubin, and Kelsey Casey. And for our fourth prize of $50, it goes to Amelia Rubinsky. Choice Award goes to <laughs> Emily. <laughs> uh, progressive Kitchen Award donated, donated by Bucks Barbecue goes to Madeline Smiros. Yes, Michelle Garfinkel goes to Olivia Warren. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to thank the judges for coming out tonight. Give them a round of applause.